Welcome to our lecture online. It turns out that enthalpy and internal energy are often confused and mixed together, but they're two very different things. One way to make that clear is to set them up side by side and see what their differences are between the two. So here we have two columns. On the left side we have internal energy represented by U, and on the right side we have enthalpy represented by H. So you can see here that U, the internal energy, is simply the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the individual atoms and molecules of the system. As opposed to enthalpy, which is the heat, Q stands for heat, absorbed or expelled during a chemical reaction. So enthalpy is the exchange of heat, internal energy is the content of heat. So by that alone, they're very different. Here you can see that when the internal energy goes up, well, it goes up when Q is absorbed. So when heat is added, the internal energy goes up. When heat is removed, internal energy goes down. Here, we can see that enthalpy is positive in an endothermic reaction, means when heat is absorbed by the reaction, we have a positive enthalpy, and a negative enthalpy means that there's an exothermic reaction. Heat is removed from the reaction. The equation says that the internal energy of a gas is equal to the heat added to the gas minus the work done by the gas. Here we can see that enthalpy equals all of the internal energy plus the energy required to make room for the system. And so therefore you can expect enthalpy to always be larger than the internal energy, presuming that there's always going to be some need for expansion, push against the environment when heat is added. Internal energy is used on closed systems. Enthalpy is used on open systems. So there's a very big difference as well. Closed systems means that there's only an exchange of energy. An open system is that we have an exchange of energy and an exchange of matter as well. The units, we use joules for energy, so therefore joules for internal energy. And the unit that we use for enthalpy is joules per mole or sometimes kilojoules per mole. It is a state of matter, and why can we say that? Well, since internal energy is a function of temperature, and temperature is a state variable, so therefore it's a state of matter. It's whatever the state, the matter, whatever state the matter is in. Notice that enthalpy is simply an energy exchange. So one gives you the state of a matter, how much energy it contains, the other one tells you how much energy was exchanged. They're both state functions because they both depend on state variables. The uh, internal energy depends on temperature and the uh, enthalpy depends on both temperature and pressure. And notice we have written that down right here. Also, they're both extensive properties. That means that both things can be measured it answers the question, how much, how big? However, it cannot be measured directly. It needs to be measured indirectly through some experiment and then seeing what the results of the experiment are. Notice when temperature is constant, there's no change in the internal energy. So the internal energy, um, hmm, I don't know if I like that. I think I'm gonna rewrite this because I'm going to rewrite it to the change in internal energy equals zero. So there's no change in temperature. When temperature is constant, there will not be a change in internal energy. I think that's what we mean there. And here we can say that when temperature is constant, then there's no change in the enthalpy. Enthalpy will be zero. Here we can see that the internal energy is always going to be less than the enthalpy because enthalpy includes that energy required to make room for the system, which is not the case for the internal energy. And finally, U stands for the total energy of the system. It's whatever energy is in the system due to the vibrational and translational motion of the molecules and due to the interaction, the electrical interaction, electrical forces interaction between the molecules, where H is simply the energy change between the system and the surroundings. In other words, either energy is absorbed from the surroundings or given off to the surroundings is the exchange of energy. And by that, you can see that the two entities, internal energy and the enthalpy, is, they're both very, very different and for very unique situations. One cannot be equated to the other, even though there are equations that 
make them relative to each other, right? So here we have the internal energy within the equation belonging to enthalpy, but that doesn't mean you can turn one into the other. And that is how it's done.